When they said that I could do something to reconstruct, I didn't really see how it was possible. It sounded more like science fiction. Yeah. Dr. Byrne was definitely committed to doing a lot of surgeries. The first step was putting a tissue expander in my arm that would stretch my skin and make it big enough to um, have an ear put inside on my left side. The surgery came to take rib cartilage off of three ribs and Dr. Byrne was shaving it down, you know, cutting it, sewing it together, and then they inserted the ear. And then that skin literally grew and adhered to the ear. Some of those pictures you had, the lower part of your ear was gone. Essentially, that translates to having your whole ear missing, and that, that's what your reconstructive surgeon faced. I mean, this is, this is a, a real difficult, about as tough as it gets, reconstruction doing a, a complete ear. And the reconstruction is so, is so fascinating, so many components to it, but I just want to go back and touch on that first part that, that people probably find really unbelievable is this part where you had to go through tissue expansion. The first step before they did anything else to try to create the framework of the ear was creating this pocket in your arm sequentially, you know, expanding your skin like so to stretch it out to create a pocket right. that after once it was stretched out, your doctor was then going to put in pieces of cartilage to reconstruct the ear. It, it, would it be okay if I had you turn your head a little bit to yeah. the right? Because I want to show everyone at home. And, and, and Sherry's not done yet. There, there's still contouring that's going to be done. But I can tell you that from a distance, you would look and, and it would take a double glance to realize that, wait a minute, you know, is that yep. her natural and, ear? And that, that is what, to me, is so remarkable. Because when you look at it on the arm, it looks like science fiction. Yeah, Truly, Travis, a work of art.